Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So ASAP Rocky unknowingly rained on Quentin Miller's parade when he advised Kanye West to remove one of the songwriter's contributions to his verse on Cardi B's Hot Ish. Miller shared the revelation during a recent appearance on the new Rory and Maul podcast, where he explained his nearly contribution to the song came during a studio session with Kanye, Pusha T, The Game, and others earlier this year. Mm-hmm. I had a song with Kanye West, ASAP Rocky killed my line. Listen, ASAP. You don't know this. You don't know this. Remember the day when the picture that came out of Kanye West and I was there and Push T? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. remember. Okay, so listen. This day, Game brings me to the room. Kanye is working on the song he has with Cardi B and Lil Durk. Okay. Right? He's working on a song. I contribute a line. I say a line. Which line? He didn't use it, right? But let me let me tell you. The verse say, seemed unfinished. I say a line. I say a line. He's like, oh, that's hard. Records it. Pusha hyping me up. That's my man. Yeah. He comes over. He's like, yo, that shit's hard. That shit's mm. hard, right? Everybody's loving it. 30 minutes later, Rocky walks into the room. Comes in. He's vibing. He's chilling. He's like, yeah, it's just this one line that I want you to change. <laughs> And he picks my line. This is Nike Nike town all over again. He picks my line. He didn't know. He didn't know. Yeah. He picks my line. So then Kanye's like, nah, but I really like that line. I really like that line, though. Can you tell us the bar? Huh? Can you tell us the bar? Because, I mean, it didn't make it. It was a, it said, uh, it was basic, but it was just a line. Uh, Something about put the put the bands in the trunk, forgot us in the front, and some some oh god, but ba- you know the bands, song. bands again. But you know the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for but sure. But you know the song. It was a base. Yeah, it was a. Yeah. It was one of those songs. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it was like you know just IG caption raps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know when you know mm-hmm. super provoking shit, but it was yeah. something mm-hmm. that my yeah. name would be there. Yeah, right. for sure. And he's just like, yeah, nah, you gotta change. And Kanye's like, nah, but I think, I think we should keep it. So then, like five minutes, ten minutes go by, and Rocky's like. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah. It's, you got to change that line, man. That's the one line, man. Hey, Rocky. And I don't have enough clout. I do not have enough clout. Hey, Rocky, we love you, man. I love you, man. But God damn, I'm a fan, bro. Man. You <laughs> just don't know. And I'm just sitting there just like. I would have been saying, you about to have a, have a baby with Rihanna. Leave my fucking lines yeah, alone. Yeah, like, like you ain't <laughs> have nothing else to do no today. You had no clue. <laughs> oh, no man. Clue, Damn, man. Rocky. Released on July 1st, Hot Ish debuted at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It served as the latest offering from Cardi B's eagerly anticipated sophomore album following up and the Megan Thee Stallion-assisted WAP. According to a recent Vogue Singapore cover story, Cardi's long-awaited project is coming sooner than later. She's not waiting very long, a month or two, before her next album gets released. Quentin Miller, who famously co-wrote multiple songs on Drake's 2015 project, If You're Reading This Is Too Late, also addressed his run-in with Meek Mill on the new Rory and Maul podcast. Miller explained the Philly rapper confronted him inside a Nike store during his high-profile beef with Drake and initially decided against attacking him after realizing he wasn't a street dude. They come into the store. They, they you know, hey, yo, man, what's up, man? You know, he, he says all his shit, like, you making me look crazy, whatever. And I'm like, bro, like, yeah, 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 he's like, yo, I could tell you ain't on no street shit. So I ain't gonna do nothing. And then I'm like, all right. And he just does like a quick turnaround. Like a he does like one of those. Mm-hmm. And he he dips. So I'm thinking we good. And um, and then his man's came back in with the camera. I found out, and I don't know how true this is, but I'm I found out that that was a Nicki Minaj call. And if that's the case, Nikki, Nick, then Nikki sent the camera. Do the no, camera in the store. No, when they when they evaluate when Meek evaluated, you not a street dude. You not on that street shit. And they dip. I heard when they went back to the car, mm-hmm. it was Nikki that was like, "Nah, run that." Listen, bro. I'm a Nikki fan, bro. I always was a Nikki fan. My daughter's a Nikki fan. I'm the president of the Barb's. But that was fucked up, man. That was fucked up. But well, do you know it's for a fact though, or is this? If that was the case, because mm-hmm. let's not put that on Nikki. If yeah, that wasn't, I don't want to put that on her jacket. Absolute if fact. that was right. a fact, yeah. Remember, drama was like Nikki did something wrong. Mm. But drama wasn't there either. What was he talking about? I don't know. I wasn't there. But I hope that wasn't the case. Mm. If that was the case. But either way, I put it on me. Either way, you know, I think but, it was corny that that entire thing happened. To be but still, but 
finding that out, that hurt even more. Because it was like, damn, I never even... I never had a conversation with this lady. Like, why, mm. why'd she do that? But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.